Here we have an Xbox Series S that has come in with an issue here. As you can see, the HDMI port not only has expanded, but it's also been damaged. As you can see there, that one side has been crunched pretty good. To start, we need to remove two white stickers on either corner. Now using our Torx 8, we'll take out the screws that were hidden below those stickers. The bottom now just slides off and up. Next we need to remove all the green screws. For that we're going to use our Torx 10. Next we're going to take each side and gently pry it to the side. When we do that with it flipped over, it should gently fall down and then it slides right out. To remove, gently lift up. Now we just have to remove the remaining silver screws. Now we just need to carefully lift the lid up and we can carefully lift the fan out and gently but firmly pull straight up on the fan connector. Now we can lift the power supply straight up and out. We'll also remove the four screws that are holding down the heat sink. Now we'll carefully wiggle out this bracket kind of tough to get up sometimes. There it goes. And then we can carefully lift the board out. Now you may choose to remove the heat sink. I prefer to just leave it on because I can work around it. We'll add some flux to each one of the legs. I'll take some low melt solder. And we're going to mix the old solder with the low melt solder. This will help it make it easier to extract the HDMI. Add some flux. We'll add some low melt solder. And then we'll apply the low melts all of the pins.
Now coming from below with some hot air, once it liquefies we'll be able to extract the HDMI port. We'll now add some isopropyl alcohol and clean up all of that flux. We'll now take a brand new HDMI port and install it. And it slides back in. Now we'll go ahead and put back those screws along with the stickers. <laughs> 